Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have, this is like a day early for me, which is nice. Um, hopefully I'll get a little more views. Saturday just doesn't have a lot of traffic. I feel like uh, my last video was kind of, was a lot different so I didn't get a lot of traction, which is cool. Like I do this for fun so. I just had to get those thoughts out last time, but today I'm back to review. So today I have a review on Bombshells shoes. Well, like, I'll use quotes. I forgot the actual name of them. And since I'm using my phone to record, I probably should have looked this up before. But they're, they're shoes. They're just under the category shoes. Like, they're the grip something. I got size large, um, which is 8.5 to 10. And so, first time I got these, I was like, oh, cool, I'll use these for yoga, but I prefer doing yoga barefoot, and these, um, like the grip on the bottom, like if you're doing tree pose, <laughs> doesn't grip to your legs. I need to stand up straight, guys, this is gonna help me with my posture. Okay, so yeah, if you're doing tree pose, it doesn't grip, like, to your it can grip to your legs, but not leggings. That's where I'm going with this. It doesn't grip to leggings. And also, if you're working out in a gym and you have one of their mats, it's probably not going to grip the mat very well. Um, so, yeah, that, that kind of... I wouldn't use these for yoga at all. If you need any socks, do the yoga grip socks. Um, I don't. I prefer barefoot. So, that's just my personal opinion on that. I do use them to work out leg, like lower body, like legs and booty workouts because I feel more confident without tennis shoes, like for deadlifts and squats. I'm talking about like those main, I'm not talking about like those little like cable kickbacks or whatever. No, I'm talking about like main um, lifts. My brain's just like <clears throat> right now um I'm gonna go see a puppy later so that's where my brain's at just so you know I'm all jumbled up but um yeah so I'm talking about like main lifts like uh deadlifts I prefer to not wear shoes um but that's not acceptable in the gym let's like get that across like you don't know what's on the floor so that's gross so I will use these now um, I used to use my, I would just wear like my least supportive shoes, like my Reebok CrossFit. Let me grab them. <sighs> Actually, my makeup and I got like hair on my lips. Okay. So, yeah, just a Reebok CrossFit shoe. Uh, these work great for lifts and squats. Uh, I don't know what they're. This is Reebok CrossFit. Really cute. Like them. Uh, but. <laughs> Uh, I just, if you guys watch mm -hmm. Papa Swolio, what, gotta get a notification now, but I watch Papa Swolio and he does, um, the like no shoe shoes, you know, like the glove, mm -hmm. like the finger, can you, sorry guys, but, um, he does that and so, um, I've been looking at different brands, so I will be purchasing that, um, but that's a different story, so I use these for now, so these work well enough. Um, as long as you have like no shame, like I, I don't have any shame. So I will, I will wear my tennis shoes. Originally do like a warm up um, in my tennis shoes. Then when I go do my main uh, deadlift or squat like I did today, I will switch to these. And I don't switch back to my tennis shoes. I just throw them in my bag and I'm done with them. Uh, but on normal days, I'll just wear my normal tennis shoes throughout the whole, not normal days. Days where I'm doing upper body or abs or whatever, I just use my tennis shoes. Uh, so these, they work well enough, but I don't really think they're, they're kind of a flop for me. Like, they're not worth the money. I'll show you what they look like on. They have, like, no toes, like, cut out. Like, they look pretty sick on. I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty sweet. Um, and they hug pretty well, pretty nicely. Ugh, just gonna do like a little foot model real quick. I 
and my toes need painted. Let's they look like on. They have the main strap right here across the top and the two right here. Um, but I will be doing a, like the glove foot shoe thing. I will be, excuse me, I will be trying that because I just, like that's where I'm going towards. That's what I'm liking. I'm not liking big bulky shoes when I work out anymore. Um, yeah. So these are like a good step in the right direction. So I'm practicing training in these before I spend a good amount of money on shoes. Oh, here we go, performance wraps. <laughs> Found the name of it, guys. <laughs> They're the performance wraps. I got a large, which is a nine to 10. Made in China. Uh, yeah, it's all man-made, it says. Made in China, obviously. But yeah, so, I mean, they're not worth it to me unless you are looking to, like, transition to that, to working out with, um, the, like, no shoe shoe. But other than that, I don't suggest them for yoga. I don't really suggest them. Okay. You need to get this out. For deadlifts, if you are on the wood platform they're slippery these are slippery so i would not suggest them for that today i did uh, a sumo deadlift and i warmed up with a regular deadlift uh, kettlebell not regular but roman kettlebell deadlift and then i did the wide stance sumo deadlift um so i'm very tall very long so i'm able to put my feet on the black parts of the pad so I don't have to worry about my feet slipping on the wood but wood it's gonna slip any slippery surface this is going to slip so I really don't see the purpose in them they're not worth it to me um yeah just not worth it that's my opinion about it that's my review on these bombshell I got hair like I need to vacuum okay but yeah that's my opinion on these bombshell sportswear shoes that they have. Uh, let me know what brands and what items you guys want me to review because I'm trying to find like spandex, like shorts to review. I don't want to do bikers. If you guys want me to do bikers, I will. But I really don't want to because I'm tall and I do have pretty big thighs <laughs> and bikers just don't look good on me. Um, I don't think they look good on anyone really. I mean, they look good on people, but just it's not a trend. I'm about. I'm not here for it. Uh, but yeah, let me know. I'm go. I want to try this other brand that has like a scrunch bum. Pretty excited about that. DB Active, my first like video that you guys actually loved. Apparently, uh, they're coming out with a new collection, so I cannot wait for that. Bombshell Sportswear just dropped their or restocked their gloss leggings. I thought it was gonna be the whole gloss collection, so I was gonna get like the leggings and the one of the bras. I don't think I was going to do both. It was going to be one of them because I wanted the pair together. It was only legging, so I decided not to do it. <laughs> but it's cool because your girl needs to save money because she's kind of broke. I also ordered a Jeffree Star uh, mystery box. I wanted to get the large one. ended up getting the medium one. So I will probably make that a video, which will throw you guys off because you'll be like, why is there makeup on a legging review channel? But you know what? It's my channel and I kind of want to do a little bit of makeup. So uh, we're just going to randomly throw that in there. And it'll be a lot of day that I don't normally upload, so that way it won't interfere with anything else. Just so y'all know, it's going to be randomness. Love you guys. If you made it this far, wow, you are a treat and I sincerely thank you. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed day and let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. That really helps me and hope you guys have a great weekend and a happy Friday. See you guys next time. Bye.